eight, nine. And we have a nice little friend here from Wildlife World Zoo. Her name is Christy Morcom. <laughs> <laughs> and you brought a friend as well. Christy, who is this? This beautiful bird is Chloe. And Chloe is a hyacinth macaw. These macaws are not only the largest macaw in the world, but they're also the largest parrot in the world. Oh my goodness. And she is loving it this morning. She's flirting with you, talking oh, to you, is. getting all fluffy. <laughs> She's gorgeous, and you guys are wearing the same color. So she thinks I'm uh, her mommy. And yeah. you know, usually I like to pet the animals, but you told me she, Chloe is. Yeah, Chloe has a beak with 1,200 pounds of crushing power. Yeah, we're not going to risk that. Yeah. I don't want to come yeah. against that beak. <laughs> and your nails look so beautiful this morning. Oh, thank you. Yes. Shout out to Sasha. She'll be happy to hear that. Um, <laughs> but tell me about how big this bird is. Uh, how much does it weigh? So these birds weigh anywhere from two to four pounds. Mm -hmm. And they can be anywhere from three to three and a half feet long with a oh wingspan of 60 inches. And they're very intelligent. She's whispering to you. She's mm -hmm. talking to you. She wants to kind of cuddle. She goes right Right in for your face. <laughs> she does. Uh, Chloe, can I have a kiss? Oh, thank Aww. you, Chloe. Oh, oh, and then you get a treat. <laughs> yeah. So what did you just feed her? So this is a hazelnut, and I want to demonstrate just how strong that beak yeah. is. You can see she has no problem breaking it, and she has something called zygodactyl foot formation. That's okay. where two toes face forward and two toes face backwards. So they use their feet a lot like we use our hands. Oh my gosh, look at that. That really is coordination because she's getting all the meat and just leaving the shell behind there. Absolutely, look at that cute little tongue she has. And her eyeliner is impeccable. It is. It's perfectly on there. Good job, girl. <laughs> yeah, these, <laughs> these birds are amazing. amazing. They can be pets, but they'll last 80 years. So you got to make sure, I don't know, you've got a couple generations ready to watch this thing. Yeah, so a lot of people, you know, they do get these birds as pets. And most of our parrots at Wildlife World were former pets that were oh. donated to the zoo. Right. Because they... They're really high maintenance. They do have that long lifespan like you mentioned. They have the intelligence of a two-year-old. So having one of these birds is like having a two-year-old trapped in a bird's body for 60 to 80 years <laughs> with a beak so that has 1,200 pounds of crushing power. <laughs> okay, so maybe not the best pet idea. You yeah. just have to be like ready for that kind of commitment. Maybe something good to go see at the zoo. And then how much do you work with this bird at the zoo? So she's one of my favorites. Yeah. I've worked with her going on 10 years now. So you could her and I have a great relationship. Yeah. She is a cuddler, a yeah. lover. But these birds, you know, a lot of times you have to have a really strong relationship with them right. because they are so intelligent. Yeah, and she um, really has been responding in our conversation. We were yeah. kind of chatting about uh, whether I should try to pet her, if I should stay on that side. <laughs> and you said that because her uh, feathers are kind of fluffed up, that she feels comfortable, she's good. And then she would start interjecting and speaking as well. Yeah, she, she loves to talk. She talks on her own terms. Chloe, are you funny? Oh, she wants to give me a kiss. She, she gave you. me a little laugh. <laughs> Chloe, are you funny? <laughs> oh, there we go. I have a little laugh. But uh, yeah, so these guys like a two-year-old. They don't always do no. what you want, but they have to. Yeah. In their timing. It's all on their time. It is really interesting to watch this happen. What's happening at Wildlife World Zoo this weekend? Oh my gosh. Yesterday, we just the announced giraffe. the birth of a baby giraffe. That's so yes. cute. So you can come out and see him with his mother yes. and the rest of the herd. It's an amazing time to come out to Wildlife World. Now, why weren't we streaming the whole time? Why wasn't the world watching Wildlife World Zoo? <laughs> well, we don't have internet back at that part of the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to work on that next yeah. time. We're going to be the global sensation next time we have a cute little giraffe. But yeah, congrats. Absolutely. Happy birthday. Send yes. my regards to the new little baby over there. And Chloe, I it was will. lovely to meet you that's a beautiful beautiful bird pretty bird she is pretty Thank bird you no we don't do we don't do those <laughs> too smart for that we'll be right back